There are several classifications of multiple sclerosis, each with distinct patterns of progression. Number one, radiologically isolated syndrome, or RIS. This is when MRI findings of the brain and spinal cord are highly consistent with MS in an individual who has been completely asymptomatic, had no clinical symptoms. RIS may indicate a higher risk for that person to develop MS later in life. Number two, clinically isolated syndrome, or CIS. This is a single episode of neurological symptoms lasting at least 24 hours caused by inflammation or demyelination. CIS may or may not go on to develop into multiple sclerosis. Number three, relapsing multiple sclerosis. This is the most common form of MS, characterized by relapses, attacks, flares, exacerbation. That's all the same thing. That's when an individual has a focal bout of neurological dysfunction, which then may fully or partially recover. Number four, secondary progressive MS initially presents as relapsing MS when someone has clinical relapses. Later in the disease course, they stop having relapses or have them less often, and they will accrue disability independent from relapses. And number five, primary progressive multiple sclerosis, which is marked by a steady decline in neurological function and accrual of neurological symptoms from the very start without relapses.